So, after my last time unboxing of a ton of ringside, this is my Cyber Monday ringside, is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I just had to carry this up the 20 flights of stairs. That was spooky. Whatever, guys. I hear the future. This is uh, what I got Cyber Monday from Ringside. Collectibles.com. Do you guys purchase from them? I bet you do. Most wrestling fans and collectors of the toys buy from them because I think they're one of the few that do pre-orders and have really good sales. Oh my gosh. This holiday season, I didn't ask for anything because I knew that this is all I need. First things first, we got John Cena, the savior of the Society of the United States of People with uh, Ultimate the Warrior. Cool, cool. And then up next we got uh, Ricky the Steamboat Dragon, the Dragon Man. Who else is from the set? Oh, it's a good set, huh? And then we got Mankind, Mick Foley. Uh, did you guys see his daughter on TV? His daughter is uh, very attractive, I, I will say that. And up next we got um, Rebby Sky, Rebel, the Rebel Sky. Star Wars Velvet, Velvet Cake Pie. Velvet Sky from TNA, Impact Wrestling. I should have got Jeff Hardy instead. And then we have uh, the most important Seamus Brawlin' Buddy. I prefer Brawlin' Buddies to Elites if you, if you ask me. And uh, then I got a wheelchair because uh, obviously on 60W there's going to be some plot twists. Have you guys ever seen Degrassi? No spoilers though, but that's a little hint. Like Drake-esque. And then I got some elite figures. I'll just move the box so you guys don't just look at a box at all time. Ah, put the box in my chest. Okay, first thing we got some exclusives. I got the Brock Lesnar. And I got the Cardcore Kane. And I got the Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And then last but not least, I got uh, the two greatest WWE superstars of all time. Tenzai and the main event playa. Zoom in a little so you guys can see the beauty that is Brodus Clay. Let me just zoom in some more. Hey Brodus, if you ever do an autograph signing, you can sign this. No, I'm kidding. I unbox everything. But that's not it, guys. That is not it. See, this is why December is the month of unboxings, because I plan on unboxing all of these. And then I have this giant box. I don't know what it is. It's huge, right? I don't even know. How to it. You can see the cutting. How poorly I can cut. Always be careful with knives. I say that every time I unbox. I've cut myself so many times doing this, and I am stupid. Here it comes. The man of the hour. Oh, I hit my ceiling. The man of the hour. But that was my ringside collectibles pickup from Cyber Monday. Was it good or bad? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see me unbox one of them, let me know. But I have a great backlog of things to unbox. Okay, guys, I'm sorry that the unboxing's over, but this is really spooky. I was looking in this box and I found this note. I don't know how it got in there. It's not from ringside. Someone must have put it in the package on the UPS truck. It says, it's on birthday wrapping paper. It says, Dear Tommy, misspelling Tommy, you stole B Day gift. Yeah, I did. You will regret. Signed. A, but it looks like they crossed it off and wrote E. P.S. Call me E from now on. I forgot my name starts with E. What does that mean? Who sent this note? Who is E?